Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now. Uh, first of all, I want to say something very important. That the zone is trash, bro. The zone removed my content, my own content, just because I used the picture, the fight picture, basically. Of what uh, of uh, Dubois, of Dubois um, Ergovich, just a picture, no footage shown or anything, just a picture and then me talking about the fight. Dazon removed it and claimed the video as their own, and now I find a counter notification and it's been rejected, and somehow YouTube is not accepting it. They say yeah, they don't know on what basis I'm filing them. Like this is my content. The picture is basically in public domain. It's under fair use policy. I'm not covering any of the fights of this on anymore. And if I do it, it's just going to be me on video talking about it. But those guys are criminals, bro. They are, they've been taking down channels after channels after channels. And some of my colleagues have been telling me about this, but I didn't really notice it until they get to me. I'm like, I'm not showing the fight or anything and you're just trying to take away my sweat and i even wrote those guys i messaged them um i sent them an email on the zone to let them know like what happened why they they've taken my my videos twice down and now they give me two copyright strikes it's just like very unfair it's very unfair like uh i'm not covering it anymore bro Anything that has to do with this zone, I'm not covering uh, their their fights. If I cover the fights, if Joshua is fighting, I will probably do a video, so that they don't they won't claim that as well. These guys are criminals, bro. Like, what? Like, I, I don't get it. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I'm gonna create another another account um very soon, another channel very soon, so you guys can go follow that and subscribe to it, so that um, yeah. We continue because uh, these guys, man, they zone. They've, be, they, I don't know what they on. You are not the one putting the money up, by the way. It's Tokyo Lashik, and I'm not showing the fight footage. It's just a picture of me analyzing the fight, a picture. And when did a fight picture found on public domain become a copyright? A copyright uh, result of a copyright strike. It's very unfair, and it's very, very unfair. It's crazy, man. Anyways, um. So, the two-time unified heavyweight king of the universe, Anthony Joshua, is on the hunt again. Or being hunted. You know, Joshua, like I said, Joshua is still a very big name. He remains the biggest name in the heavyweight division. And one of the big, big, big uh, biggest names in the whole of boxing. Okay. Joshua's um, resume, his repertoire, is is um, is accolades. He he deserves his accolades, by the way, because Joshua is on route to becoming a three-time every world champion, a three-time every world champion like Muhammad Ali. Do you know what that means? Do you know the you know what it takes to even get there. Um, looking at what Joshua has been through and what he had to go through in order to be in this position. Remember, Joshua had to go through hell. Okay? We all know what happened when Joshua got defeated by Andrews Jr. He was stopped. He wasn't knocked that cold. He was stopped. But the referee stopped it. It was a TKO. Joshua was still ready to go. Of course, his legs were gone then. But I believe Joshua would have still rallied about to at least make it through to the 12th round, in my opinion. But it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be sweet. Or probably recover. But Joshua also have a good recovery. You guys forget that Joshua recovered in the uh, Vladimir Klitschko fight he was knocked down i think in round six 
and was out basically tired and everything but he rallied back up the next round and kept his composure and stopped Vlad uh, Vladimir Klitschko in the 11th round that's the resilience of this guy you know some people look at Joshua and say yeah everything he got is uh, is um he got on 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 a plate on a golden plate where well, that's a lie but Joshua had to even battle hard to get to this position and now he's on the hunt again to re to reclaim his IBF world title Joshua values the IBF world title because he is the first world IBF world title uh, world title he won as a professional boxer and from there he got he went for the WBA from there he went for the WBO when he fought Parker WBC was in the hands of Deontay Wilder at the time and looking back at it right now it's very sad we didn't get to see that fight so Joshua posted this picture with a quote the artist part about my job is is realizing you have to ruin someone's dream to achieve yours this is very true you know this caption is very true Joshua is about to fight according to the rumors his next fight could be against Stanley Dubois i see so many bridges already talking about yeah uh Dubois will beat Anthony Joshua please please bet against Joshua because i believe the the fake love that the, the some of those bridges are for Joshua is very visible this is why he no longer gives interview to the likes of IFA TV and others because he already figured them out and i'm very happy because i used to complain then uh, uh, Joshua this this media don't like you Talk Sport for example, Joshua has um some some fans in Talk Sport. I think um Spencer Spencer is one of them. It's also the other guy I don't know his name anymore. But the rest like Simon Jordan um who else? Carl Frosch um who who have who said he's a Joshua friend. Yeah, I know it's a Joshua friend, bro. Um other guys there are just against Joshua. They they had they were happy to see Joshua lose, see Joshua uh um, you, know, you know like not succeed at the point Joshua was at his downside. I saw it, man. So now you see Joshua is on the top and now they're like they're saying yeah, yeah, it's back now, it's back. No man, Joshua, listen. I will say this once again. That Dubois is a very good fighter. The levels are Joshua is at right now. Dubois still hasn't tasted what Joshua has done yet. Joshua Dubois still has to taste the glory of a champion. Being bit at least uh, being down because jo jo Dubois yes he's been through some adversity i would say that you know in terms of like him stop uh, getting stopped by Joe Joyce but that's just him talking himself up there is no expectation on Dubois there is no there is no there is no there's no heavy load on Dubois Joshua has that all the time Joshua is the golden face of boxing he's the one that all the all the boxers the heavyweights want to fight because he's the money man it came from a very uh, bad place in terms of like he literally like um having to to almost give up himself in the ring in the rematch between uh, uh, Usyk In rematch with Usyk, he, the rematch when he lost that, he Joshua went off. To come from that to what he is right now, Joshua is a compassionate man. You know, he could have just laughed at Wilder or say anything about Wilder, but no, he didn't. That's a brother right there. He said, "Listen, 
if you want to come back, come back strong. And I was thinking about it as well. I think Deontay Wilder should not retire yet. He shouldn't. I was thinking about it, maybe the head of Wilder. No, he shouldn't because Wilder should not retire yet. He needs to do something that I'm going to talk about in the next video. Just stay tuned for that. And if he does that, he'll be back on top. Maybe not as a top elite heavyweight, you know, but I would let you know what he'll be back on top with. He, he, Wilder still has a future. He's 38. Janjale is 41. So how can Janjale be older than Wilder and still be competitive in a, like, like Wilder? I know who say he had the right hand and stuff like that. Wilder depends on the right hand. But Wilder used to throw a jab. He used to do many things that he doesn't do anymore. We we'll address that in another video though. But this one is about Joshua and his hunger. He's now the the he's he's now the hunter and the hunted. Why well, I say the hunter and the hunted? He's the hunter. He's hunting for under glory, become a three-time every world champion. The hunted. He's been haunted by all the other guys like John Jilly, Joseph Parker, uh, Jeremy Miller, Andrews Jr. All of them still want to fight Joshua because of his, because he is the, the landlord. He, he, when you fight Joshua, you get paid heavy. That's where the money is. And I'm proud of Joshua, bro. I have to say that. I'm very proud of him because it's not easy to go from where he came from, being counted out completely by the all by a lot of the British media, and having to come back to your feet, man, it's crazy. I'm proud of him, bro. Not easy, man. Not easy. So, part of the job is basically knocking other people's glory off, and then standing on top of them, which you don't want to do. So, ruining people's dreams. We'll see what happens. The Dubois with Joshua fight, we'll talk about that. But I will let you know one thing, and one thing only. If Dubois gets hit by those right hands, and he got hit by Egovic, and Joshua lands those right hands, bro, Joshua is going to land. Dubois defense is very, 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 there's no, literally no defense, bro. Against a monster like Joshua, you let those punches, you don't defend yourself like that. You think, oh, I'm going to take them. It's good night. That's fact. I know all the British media now are backing the war because I can see already. But you're all going to be disappointed again. Joshua is just a different class. This is what it is, guys. Stay tuned.